I'm Anthony from bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com and in this lesson specifically we will look at soloing skills and how to advance from um, being stuck in one box position or several boxes. And a lot of people get stuck playing these scales and they play in these little boxes and even if they know other boxes they stay stuck for years just playing in these uh, little boxes. And of course, this is a great way to start, but we need to liberate our guitar soloing if we want to expand and if we want to play like the best uh, guitarists. And if you watch uh, blues guitarists uh, that are pretty advanced, if you watch them play, they never go about um, staying stuck in one of these positions. They always try to incorporate other things like this. <laughs> So right now I'm not really playing in one position or uh, I'm not even thinking about these boxes. I'm playing more horizontally. So what that means is I'm playing more on one string at a time. And then of course I'm shifting from string to string as well. So here I'm playing in the key of E minor pentatonic. But normally we would be playing in uh, boxes like this. So this is the E note I'm starting on. Then we have the G note, A note, the B note and the D note. So these are the notes from the E minor pentatonic scale. But of course we can play those notes on one string also. So we have E, G, A, B, D and of course the E again. So this is also E minor pentatonic. We need to practice the scale also in this manner. And in this way we come up with several cool things and we think about guitar playing in another way because the guitar is also built in a horizontal fashion so that's also why it's important to uh, learn um, to incorporate these horizontal soloing ideas. So um, this is the, the best tip I can give you to advance your, your blues guitar playing. If you're interested in going further, there's a free resource on my website, bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com, and you will find um, the advanced uh, guitar soloing uh, ebook on that website, like a free guide you can download. Also, there's an article about this method on the website, and you will find it through the link below this video. So I would say thank you for watching the video. If you like it, I would want to watch more videos. I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Then you get all the newest videos once they appear. Thank you for the support. I'll see you in the next video then.